24 hours ago, our challenger was released from Bolingbroke Penitentiary in the Grand Sonora Desert. He was transported via helicopter to our secure location in Los Santos for briefing and preparation as she attempts to win one billion dollars in... Hello and welcome to the Bounty Challenge, the only game in Los Santos where our challenger can win one billion dollars or die trying. The rules, as always, are as follows. The challenger must start at Del Perro Pier. There is no hiding in your home or property. There's no calling in rhinos or buzzards, but if you find one on the street or you steal one from a hunter, that is allowed. And there's no calling in Lester for anything. If the challenger survives for 24 hours, he will win the one billion dollar prize. It looks like our challenger is ready, so let's go to the pier and begin. Our challenge begins with one hunter released somewhere in the world, and every hour another hunter is released. And the bounty challenge has officially begun. As we take a look at our challenger, DD Disease, he's level 55. Stamina, shooting, and driving are all maxed. Stealth and flying, though, could use some work, and immediately. Merryweather crashes into him as we see a flurry of early betting activity. Let's take a look at our challenge props for today. As always, the challenger will pay out a thousand dollars to one if he survives. He has the potential of not only making himself very rich, but any of you as well. Merryweather, they'll pay out 0.5 if they get the final kill. The police, 0.75, and of course the hunters are favored at 0.4. Today we have four hunters in our challenge. Nut Duster paying out at 2.53. Titanic JJ at 4.20. Lone Reaper at 190, and Harrison Osira, the favorite, at 175. As our challenger continues on Eclipse Boulevard, we'll see if he's got a plan or if he's just running for his life. Of course, we can always bet on the cause of death. Gunshot, always heavily favored, at paying out at 0.25. Drowning, 475. Falling at 525. Explosion damage, 175. Death by vehicle, 275. Melee combat, will pay it at 12 to 1, and any other method of death will pay it at 5 to 1. And it looks like our challenger is in the neighborhood of the canyons. I believe that's Picture Perfect Drive he's on now as we see our first hunter come up on screen. Of course, the heavily favored Harrison Osira, and you can see why. Max stats, this guy is a beast. And again, Merriweather finds our challenger, smashes into him. They are relentless. They will always find you and stay on you as we take a look at our newest bounty hunter, Titanic JJ, level 69, and nearly all stats are full. Lone Reaper 115 up on screen now. As our challenger just turned on to Mount Vinewood Boulevard, we'll see if he does have a destination in mind or if he just continues to run. Nut Duster up on screen. This guy is unstoppable. 228 kill death ratio, full stats except for stealth and flying. Level 109, he has seen a lot. And it looks like our challenger is actually up in Galileo Park. And he looks like he's coming to a stop. He's going to fight off Merriweather, I guess. Using a cabrio, though, as cover. Not going to completely cover your head. Throws out a sticky bomb. What does he got planned here? Looks like Merriweather is caught up and getting into position. You can bet on the action at any time by logging on to VinewoodCasino.com. A couple of kills there on Merriweather as they get out. Looks like that sticky bomb trap didn't quite work. Oh, it looks like he just threw another sticky bomb, and that one definitely did some damage. Looks like he's going to set up some defenses on the actual Galileo Observatory himself. Oh, took a shot to the butt, <laughs> and he is safe. Well, let's take this time out. To have a word from our sponsors. Benefactor, makers of the Dubsta, Go Forever, and the all-new Serrano. Don't dream it, drive it. And we're back. As you can see, Net Duster has moved himself into position at the Galileo Observatory. Our challenger doing battle with the police via helicopter. There is no safe area for our challenger. Everything is on him. Everybody wants to win that billion dollars. We're now four hours into our challenge here, which means that all hunters are released. And as we see in the distance there, there is a tank actually moving into position. I believe that's Harrison Osira driving the tank, and Lone Reaper comes in out of nowhere in his Sand King, just flying over the mountains. 
Looks like all of our bounty hunters are in the area now. We'll see how much longer our challenger can survive. He's got the vantage point, he's got good cover. But will he be able to survive a tank? It is an absolute war zone now. We see Lone Reaper, he's got some tear gas. Gonna try to corral our target perhaps, or at least choke him out. Oh, explosions everywhere. Lone Reaper and our challenger are battling. <laughs> With the tank just doing damage everywhere, there's no reaction from our challenger. Man of steel here. Looks like that is... I think that was a Meriwether guy that he just gunned down. And some incoming bets up on screen now. That $5,000 bet on the challenger will turn into $50 million if the challenger survives. I don't know how this challenger is going to last much longer, but he does have a good defense set up here. Looks like that Stone Reaper in the distance. He threw a sticky bomb. That's a nice trap. Can save that for later. Let's take a look at Harrison here. He's on crowd control trying to fend off the police to protect our bounty hunters. There goes that sticky bomb. I don't think he got the kill on it though. Somehow the tank has moved up onto the second level of the observatory. I didn't even know that was possible. Doesn't quite have a clear shot on our target though. The police very serious about this one. They'll just keep sending helicopters in. They don't care. That billion dollars would certainly help out our local police department. Looks like a challenger setting up some more sticky bomb traps. As the battle rages into the break of day, we'll see how much more this challenger has in him. Just explosions everywhere. That tank is definitely a valuable asset to our hunter team. And it looks like that is Titanic JJ, and he is gunned down. Our challenger has his first kill on a hunter. Our rookie bounty hunter did not last too long. But that's how the game goes. Get rich or die trying. More sticky bomb traps here. Sticky bombs are a key item in our challenger's defenses today. I hear some more police helicopters moving into position. I think our hunters are starting to surround him. They might know exactly where he is now. Hopefully Titanic JJ's death was not in vain. Those explosions by the tank are getting closer. It does look like they have our challenger trapped. Police on one side, hunters on the other, and a tank. Lone Reaper moving in. Looks like he's got the auto shotgun. Doesn't quite have the angle on our challenger though, and is blasting that wall to shit. Tear gas everywhere. Nut Duster in the distance, and Nut Duster gets the final kill on our challenger. 11 hours, 17 minutes, 59 seconds into the challenge. And like a Leota Machida knockout on Rashad Evans, DD disease goes down like a sack of potatoes. Let's take a look at our winning bet. It was a hunter and it was Nut Duster and he shot him dead. That's all for our challenge today. Thank you and join us again everybody.